Is that you or me? No, I think it's you. So I just got to go to my Facebook wall and make it public so everybody can see and then share it out to some groups. So let me just do that quickly. Edit audience public safe. Okay, so that's done. Then I'm just going to share it out. Oh, yeah, magic full moon. Share. Oh, you know what? Let me put it on um, gallery so people can see both of us. All right. And then I'm just going to share it to some groups. Share to group. So people can see this now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they can see it. Yeah. Um, well, I'll fire it off to like a million groups. So this thing that's happened was I lost my phone out of town. And then uh, so I didn't have a phone for like a week. And then so I, I just got back um, like on Sunday late. And then I got my phone activated, but I use my phone as my cam. So I can't share this out to group stream. <laughs> but everybody can see it right now. And then when we're when we're done the live, like we'll share it out to some groups. And but um, the last time I think we got together, we were on some serious missions. Like this was before everything got better on the planet. Like just before October the fourteenth, uh, we had some crazy missions that we were doing. Uh, and I was telling people my youtube that the last one that we did we cleared the mother of darkness off the planet and that was during like also the maui fires and the satanic rituals and stuff they were mm. doing there to awaken the mother of darkness and it was just crazy how she was sucking energy off about three quarters of the planet uh, but me and phil we went live uh, on his youtube and by the way his youtube channels at the top it should say at philip barrel archangel michael in the comments Make sure you Michael. subscribe, to Michael or Raphael. <laughs> Raphael, uh, in the right at the top there. So make sure to subscribe to his channel, show some love and support. Um, but yeah, it was crazy mission because we connected with the inner Earth beings, and they tell us that there's been this evil monster that's on the planet now that you gotta have to clear later. And I and I'm telling Phil about it. I'm like, yeah, but let's just. Let's just do that later. I don't really feel like doing that right now. <laughs> so I, I've I've been to an earth and it is a it's good. It's, it's yeah. griffins, giants. It, it's calm. It really is. I went there in a sound evening a few weeks ago, which I'll do a video when I've got that. But yeah, good. In earth, yeah. I know it was really. They've been helping out like a lot, uh, uh, and that uh, crazy monster was sucking energy off of it, like three quarters of the planet and then that i think it was uh telos beans that they showed us how they were using the maui fires and dark ritual and all these different things and there's three other points on the planet that they we had to clear from this witchery stuff they did oh. but they told us how to capture the mother of darkness and how to create this star grid like spider net from like kind of like shooting out webs of light from the stars and like and then it captured the mother of darkness brought her into the central sun and these four archangels went whoop, whoop, right around her and just instantly just like and we're transmuting her it was the craziest thing i ever seen ever and i was just like whoa whoa that was crazy and then, so when I was in Mexico um, last week there, um, I had, I always put my sacred space up in my, um, in my areas and stuff. So I'm staying at this resort place kind of thing. It's a nice little hut thing, kind of make my sacred space. But I'm dreaming about transmuting densities and like weird things like from back to back nights. And whenever that happens, I know there's something funny going on like around and as I was walking down the path towards the uh, ocean, all of a sudden, this white light beam goes shing, shing, right into my energy shing, shields. And I'm like, what? What is going on here? This is so weird. Uh, and then I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to tune in. Like, I'm going to tune in. And then I go, so I go to my higher self. And then I look from higher self level. Where is this bad energy here? 
brings me right into the ocean and there's like this huge black serpent like um energy in the ocean massive and it's like another one of these huge monsters not as big as the mother of darkness but it was like a, a monster to say the least like nine times 99 times out of 100 if i didn't know how to do that i would have gotten out and i would have just meditated connected and be like what am i supposed to do but i just did the same thing that they taught us um using the star grids captured it brought it into the central sun and it was gone it was just these things it's, that we yeah, do i think they're coming out more that's all because the energy is rising yeah yeah i i, I think i've told you I, i've been three or four months sat quiet because i've been attacked by a cult and i have now sorted it so i can be seen again <laughs> so yeah yeah connected to demons so, mm. so. Uh, there's basically like the like most of the densities i i feel anyways have left the planet or are leaving and like uh it, it's a lot clearer out there i find like it's just, it's a lot nicer you know, yeah you... I, I i think it's now not quite 3d anymore so yeah I think the planet's right, right, rising a bit yeah i think so too yeah i really feel that and everything that i'm getting from the guides is like they're way ahead they're way ahead of us but like they're preparing for this like shift event they're preparing they're looking they're for them it's way more difficult for us we just think of it as this linear thing where like why do they have to take so long and do this and do that but leading up into when the planet shifts completely there's they're explaining it to me like you have a basically a million different timelines, just you, that we got to go through to connect to your interception points when everything shifts. So based on things that you are deciding and all of these things, so they're building their awareness around all million, billions and billions of timelines. So it's not like super easy. There's like all of these possibilities that they have to be aware of. Um, and these are people who have this awareness, like Ascended Masters, where they're like, they can actually be aware of billions of timelines. It's just so far out. But I mean, hey, they are the, the big kahunas, the light beings and the Senate masters. Uh, I, I, I think it's like a, a reset for the light. Yeah. It's the first time it's going to be a reset on our terms. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be amazing when when that day happens and like all of these efforts that we've done over the years like i don't know how many like you can catch uh most of uh mine and phil's light missions uh, on phil's youtube channel that's at the top of the comments there we've done <laughs> there's probably at least 30 or 40 on there but we've done way way, way more than that yeah so we, we, we also do ones that in meditation anyway we, we do separate you know together one separate one. So I've been doing a lot recently at yeah, the sound healing. And I've got, I've, my son got me that. It amplifies my third eye. It amplifies my remote view, viewing. It, it, it's amazing. It's like watching TV when I was for that. Yeah, I can yeah. feel that. It's a good one. Yeah. It's ama it is amazing. Yeah, I didn't think my son would get me something that's so amazing. <laughs> so amazing. Yeah, it's you know, cool. Like yeah. organized pyramid. Yeah. Um, and they're great amplifiers. Mm. Um, let's see. So what have you been doing lately? I've been so busy. Um, I've been getting all my courses back on, on this on the new platform because I got locked out of my old one. And then so I I basically done it. I got like um just one more thing i think to upload that i've edited and and then but it's so crazy phil like it literally it's just been taking me so much time to to get them all <laughs> it's like i like i didn't realize i have such a crazy body of work it's just insane <laughs> it's like i don't even know if there's like five um there's lots uh, it could be a thousand things thousand lessons i'm not sure exactly but it's just, it's just crazy the amount mm. 
of things that I, I had to keep track. And this, I'm still not 100% done. And then Divine Ray is unbelievable. It's crazy. So I was just on a call um, yesterday uh, with the blockchain guy. And so the blockchain guy is like, yep, I've got the blockchain done. And um, I've been testing out the, how it's going to give the rewards. And so it's looking good. And so he's on the call with the mobile guys, the mobile app developers, because the mobile has to send and, and request to the blockchain the rewards for the people. Like So like if somebody's in Divine Ray and they're just sitting there for like an hour and a half, they get like 10 coins for the day kind of a thing, right? Um, if you share a video, I think it's a bunch of coins. Um, if you like, now here's the cool thing about it. What I've, I've changed the dynamics because you know how that you always have the person who's super popular and they always make all the money, you know, like, so like, let's say you're the biggest influencer on the planet and all these people are liking your videos. Well, in divine Ray, he's going to make an enormous amount of coins for that. Right. Um, but I'm changing it around. I'm giving a similar coins to people who like other people's videos. So now if you're the person who is not the super popular, but you're engaged in the other person and you're liking the video, you're a way I look at it is you're part of that experience, right? Like you're mm -hmm. part of the, even though the person is popular, you're still part of that experience. But so you should get compensated too. That's the way I look at it. It shouldn't just be the person who's popular, right? And so, so I'm giving the coins for the people who are liking the person who is popular or, or whoever it is that so they don't have to be, it could be somebody who's not popular you're liking. So by loving somebody and carding them, they'll get coins as well, which is really cool. And then if you have content and people are loving it, you get coins for that. And so it's like all of these coins are just going to be like magically falling down. And uh, for these rewards, just for being in the app and, um, so what my mission is, is to get the coins listed on different exchanges so that the value of the coins go up so that people can take their coins that they're getting for, for just hanging out in a high vibe platform, making content, hanging out, watching the good news section or whatever it is they're doing. They'll get these rewards. And then what I want is them to be able to take those rewards and be able to turn it into money. Uh, so that's what my focus is in. So like I've been working a lot with Divine Ray, the mobile team, the blockchain team, and we're like, we're 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 almost ready to launch everything. Like it's just like weeks away. We're 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 beginning to deploy the blockchain on a testing server, just making sure everything's going good. And we're gonna run a whole bunch of examples with these rewards and these scenarios. And in a couple of weeks, if everything's good, we're gonna launch the whole blockchain and. The reward system is going to be online. It's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. <laughs> exciting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's pretty exciting for sure because it's like, I think it's going to be like such a huge high vibrational connect communities and people getting together. Like, mm -hmm. because it's not yeah. like I'm not, I'm not, ta I'm not taking people's information and selling it. I'm not targeting people with ads. I'm not. Um, censoring people and like closing them, blocking them out of their accounts. Like I'm not restricting how many friends they can have. You know, I'm I'm not doing these things. Like um, even with the good news section, I'm, it's just I'm just going to self govern. I'm not going to self govern. It. It's, I'm going to let it up to the people. So if people, if somebody puts like a hate or a really negative thing, it's going to get people are going to vote it off. Basically, like if it's super negative or whatever, mm. like and. Um, because it's good news. So like, there's only, the only, th there, there's, there is rules on the good news section that it has to be positive. It has to be news. That's it. So that's why it's good but news. It, yeah. You don't want negative energy in there anyway, do you? Really? Yeah. yeah. So if, it's, if somebody puts in bad news or, or like, I want to say bad, like if there's swears and there's all this other stuff, and if it's negative, um, then it'll, then there, there'll just be people who will vote it off. I'm not going to take it down. I'm not going to police it. I'm just leaving the power into the hands of the people who are in the app and are engaged and stuff. And if they'll see videos, like clearly if there's like harassment or swears, they'll vote it off because it's a good news section. So it's not a, it's not a hate news. It's not a bad news. It's not. So like if there's 
if people are swearing and harassing and just doing vulgar things, then it'll get voted off. But other than that, it's like, it will be, I, I think it's going to be a huge success. Like a good news section is going to be really exciting. And uh, um, yeah, I, 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 I was mentioning to someone recently that if one person lifts their vibration, the earth's vibration lifts. So yeah. if a lot of people, if you can get a lot of people just to lift a little bit, you're lifting the vibration of the earth, you ascension by energy, basically. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's like, I don't know about you, but Facebook has turned into like an advertising gong show, and you got to like delete, 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 and then you get targeted and targeted and targeted, and it's just, so you, you go through your news feeds, and like there's like two or three, Three of your friends post, then an ad. Two or three post, another ad. It's just like tiresome, all of these ads. Because yeah, it, it, it distracts you, right? And then so it takes away your vibration. You know what I mean? Did you, did you, you probably saw my post the other day. And Facebook sent me a message that some of the posts in the global group, they're going to, they might delete yeah. or not. But it, they gave me 980 years to think about it. So I'm okay with that. I don't mind that sort of censorship, but uh, I'll go with that. I hope I'm not here in a thousand years. That had to be some kind of glitch or some kind. Like, this doesn't even make sense. Like, it's like the artificial intelligence person just, like, just totally had a spasm or some kind. <laughs> it's like, it even, it's kind of comical, actually. Yeah. But, um, no, there's a lot of things. It's just it's just going to be a free space to create in, high vibrational, non-threatening, non-targeting, and just like, and rewarding, right? So it's like, it follows all the rules of New Earth. Let's just put it that way. So yeah. it should do pretty well. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So yeah, it's been like super busy and working day and night kind of thing, but um almost through the big push and then I can um, just have fun with Divine Ray and, and the developments and, and then I'm going to be doing this full embodiment too which is a year program that starts February 11th so that's going to keep me pretty busy between those two things I like the outfit you like it yeah good yeah TJ, TJ Max. <laughs> yeah, that's not, I'm not sponsoring it, by the way. It's just me, isn't it? So. But I, I'm busy, ready for bed. No, I'm not. I'm at work. And that's sad. <laughs> it's midnight. I'm at work. <laughs> midnight. We're doing it live. And then afterwards, you you got to like change out your brakes and do all this carving. And... Yeah, I'm going to do a load of car stuff. 3D stuff. Are you just going to like sleep at work tonight? No, I'll just fix the car. It might take me about four hours, so I'll get home about 5 a.m. and then get up at 7. Oh. Yeah. I think nice. you used to be now. I, I don't have sleep. I don't really. Sleep is a program in the brain. You don't need it. <laughs> you just got to change the programming a bit. That's funny. You could do another eight hours, what, six, eight hours a day? Just by turning the switch off. I like that program though. I really enjoy that program. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, relax. Yeah. It's getting warm here. I had enough of minus seven recently. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I sang to the clouds and said, uh, weather and said, come on, make it a bit warm. And it's now 30. So, so yeah. It's, Tonight, I was sound healing, I tried to get my DNA strands and I was in so much pain trying to get into the higher dimension, the very high dimensions. And uh, then I tried to get the old blueprint off the Kashik, which I did, I actually got that. So uh, I'm still playing with it. I've been playing with it for about three or four weeks now, trying to find out to do it. Okay. Did you fancy doing an event tonight? Yeah, I'm sure there's some work to do. Um, sounds like there is. Mm -hmm. So I guess we could just get down and connect and see what's going on. Maybe it's just healing. Maybe it's uh, 
ceremony. I don't know. <laughs> Never know. So I'm people just, I, maybe, I, maybe I, do smiley things, but yeah, I've just come out of sound healing, so I am well. And I've just been to the celestial side, so, got so I need to ground my energy. So this would be the event would be great. Get rid of some of my energy. But it was very painful. All my uh, bones seemed to like harden up, crystalline a bit. And I had this ringing in my ear, uh, head, which was, uh, yeah. I, I hold it, I had vibrational energy too long. So it's still not, I'm still human. Anyway. Right, okay. What are we doing? All right, um, so let's connect with the light. Call Mother, Father, Prime, Archangels, Senate Masters, to assist, to enlighten us to what it is we're supposed to do. So there's like these emperors, these emperors in China who were part of the biggest wars ever to have been on earth. They're deceased now. And what I'm being shown there's a few of them especially who have been involved with like millions and millions of deaths. Um, so many. Um, and if we heal their hearts and what they're connected to, it's going to heal the hearts of these millions of karma, millions of battles. There's over all these old, old Chinese dynasties. So this is just what I'm seeing at first. Um, so we can connect to the Akashic centers of their hearts back in time to all of these old, and they'll be related to anybody who's watching. Likely, like if you're born and watching this, chances are you're in, it might even be like Genghis Khan, one of these things, but like I think it's way before. I think this is old, old, old like Chinese dynasties. Um, so we might as well just call in not just these old Chinese dynasties, we'll call in all of the dynasties of um, emperors and kings and queens who ordered people because they're carrying the karma who ordered the people to go into all these battles, whether they're holy wars and. I'm just going to focus on bringing in healing and love and source energy to heal our hearts to, with the cosmic mother, father, creator, to send them in forgiveness, to release the karmic values, to heal the heart centers of all of the soldiers, all of the battles, all of the cleansing off all of the lands in, in all of these dynasties as well. And so we're just going to clear all this karma. Um, Shiva is wanting to connect for some reason and so I'm connecting his ancestors his ancestors he's participating in this healing because his ancestors are involved okay so um so it's the healing of the light Will allow all deities of love who want to assist their ancestors to come in to assist to co create in this healing with us, retrieving soul fragments and 
cleansing the lands. No wonder it's a full moon. No wonder why they're doing this. Uh, mm -hmm. Now we have to heal the defenders, the defenders of the light. So there are so many heroes out there who unfortunately lost their lives because of this, and they also need healings. So we're going to heal their hearts as well. Ones who are not invading, they're just defending. So what it is, is we're clearing both sides, healing both sides of all of these dynasties. Okay, so we're just going through the warrior's death. Um, this happened a lot in old China, like where the warriors, they get caught and then they would um, basically kill themselves as the honorable way of dying. It's, it's weird old way. And so we're just clearing that out. There's so many people. I'm just going to expand this into every single heart. Yeah, it is before being scanned. Okay, one of my aspects is the Canadian guy. I have a bit on that one. This actually might help end the wars that are going on right now when they're able to heal this consciousness out. And so we're just going to go ahead and connect this to all throughout all time now. And we're just going to flip through anything that hasn't been healed off of anybody else leading up to this now moment. And we're going to send our prayers to the lights to end all wars on this planet, to bring in peace to all hearts. And ask the angel of peace and the dynasties of love, these vibrations to come into the hearts of men and women in every territory on this planet and timeline dimension and reality. As we are bringing in this healing, we're asking for peace. Also, sending love energy you have accepted to all the, all the leaders, all the ones who control the planet all we need is one of them on our side and it's you win so let's send all the love energy to it all the ones who haven't been controlled this planet For the longest time, 
Mm -hmm. I was always told that we're not allowed to like mess with humans in their, um, the, who are on the dark side. But they just gave me the green light to bring in this diamond energy into their heart chakras and transmute their darkness. And so we'll call in the diamond light order right now to bring in diamond chakras over the heart centers of all on the planet to swirl and transmute the darkness that exists within their hearts. Is that a bit like Christ consciousness? Like the word, it's yeah, it's like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. This won't work on them all, but just do a yeah. few and... I'm just surprised we got permission to do it, but I guess it's just time. I was never allowed to do it. You know, I tried this one time before in one of our events and I got so much trouble for, for doing that. And they said never to do it again. Like, uh, and what, what they allowed is for me to get attacked back after I did it. And then, and they said, the only other way that we're going to agree to peace and to leave you alone is that if you, if you swear, or take an oath, you'll never do this again. And I said, okay, I guess I just won't yeah, mess with you. I, I said it this time. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll give up. We'll just do it. <laughs> well, that literally was talking to the light, like uh, one of the masters, and they're like, it's, you can do it now. You're allowed to do it now. You can transmute other other of the dense humans now. So it's like, it's it's uh, it's a new thing. I, I was surprised. Right. Yeah, it's, it's funny how I just mentioned it. So, yeah, it's mm -hmm. time, isn't it? Yeah. I haven't done that before. Yeah. I'm giving them big clearings now to and activations because if I'm just allowed to go ahead, I'm just going to go ahead and start opening up their chakras, cleansing, uh, opening up love. It's like you say, get a couple of them turn around and that's everything changes. And also the people who they have seen what you do and have anger in their hearts against them. Take that. You've got to try and transmute in to forgive them. You've got to get them to forgive these. Because they just feed off this anger. Yeah, that's so true. So Yeshua just brought me into um, where he was baptized. I know it's strange, but he was baptized. As, like it's the actual true thing that happened. And um, we're just I'm just bringing the consciousness of this water because it's deemed like such holy water in this moment. And we're bringing it and we're cleansing it off of everybody now to like kind of like give like a cleanse, a cleanse. A holy cleanse like a blessing yeah so anybody who needs this who's watching will also give them this blessing as well I'm also uh, sending energy out. Anyone watching this who wants some energy, just 
just uh, accept it and it'll go in. Thousands. And, and we are, just so you, everybody who's watching is aware, we are bringing in healing and releasing and cleansing energy for everybody who's watching. Because it's a full moon, it's the perfect time to do it. Okay. Now, there's a lot of women who are watching here tonight. And these women, some of you, had some level of being like captured or, or um, changed in dark ritual way back when the dark seized the planet. And so there's a cup of the feminine Christ light coming over you right now, over your heart centers, over your chakras to cleanse all of this, these modifications out. They're primarily done by reptilians and draconians when they seize the planet and some of your high priestesses. And so they're showing me because I'm connected into the sun and they're showing me now they're bringing this beautiful feminine Christed light to restore you to your actual um, priestess light um, before it was altered by um, dark forces. And so it's cleansing out also any attachments to these dark forces, any cords, healing, forgiving, and releasing. And But it's also bringing you into your hearts and into your internal um divine goddess lights that you were before those captures happened it was it was an unfortunate time on the planet but basically what the dark did is they um they sacrificed a lot of the divine feminines and kind of changed their energy around so that when they would reincarnate and stuff they wouldn't have that much power or be as powerful so by suppressing the divine feminine energy they've been able to keep this this uh, planet under hostage for so long. So now this is just being reinstated for a lot of you just because you were unaware that this happened to you in the past. And so this feminine Christ energy is just bringing you back, making the energies of the past whole again, healed where that influence is not an influence anymore. So it's just being let go of, healed, released out of you. So a lot of you are gonna feel like Oh my God, I just feel like I'm me again. Like you won't, you'll understand it at this level. So I just wanted to kind of explain that part of it. Um, It's really incredible. I'm glad that this is being done because they're showing me like you, uh, some people, your, your energy is just going to go through the roof. Now, all of a sudden, you're going to have this new energy, this new founded energy. And it's because partly what these beings have done is they've 
they have this they have this ability to to siphon off your energy throughout time because the way that they changed um but that's gone now so that won't happen and so all of a sudden this would be like the first time in your life where you have your full energy it's going to be very strange for some of you guys who are watching this it's going to like you're just going to have more energy you're going to be feeling amazing you're going to feel like yourself um and you'll have this freedom feeling. And this could go for men who are, because it's not like you, if you were a woman in a past life in this time and you're a man in this life, can still uh, positively change for you. You don't have to just be a woman in this life for this to be a woman in that life. It's not how it works. Okay, mother of the land is here. Um, she's a Lumerian goddess of the land. I'm just tuning into what she's bringing in. Uh, pyramid lights of some kind. It's for healing chambers. And bringing in healing chambers for everybody from uh, Pyramid um, Lumerian Temple of Light. Going over your DNA, going over your energies, restoring your your youth templates and everything. I've just been given some information. I'm not actually sure if it's true. What is it? What is it? So I've been told. That's why I'm asking you for advice on this. But when they took the planet, they changed the frequency. You know, they changed the frequency of music in the 20s and 30s. Yeah. It was dark. They also changed, when they took the planet, they changed the moon's frequency. And we could get that from the, the original blueprint from the Akashic. Change it back. All right, well, let's, let's open up the Akashic. And that, that should lift the vibration of the Earth. Okay. So anyone ever goes to the Akashic, a lot of times you see the information in like geometric shapes and frequency. It's not like reading. Of all the nights doing this, uh, the, the full moon day. Yeah, the, uh, the frequency is being sent to the moon from the captain. There's uh, a, a stronghold in the ocean. I'm just, there's all these different ships that have been like messing with the Earth's frequency there, I've noticed. So um, as we've gone into the Akashic, so I'm just like focusing on like 
changing the frequency that they're that they're trying to create from their um pulsing whatever this is that's spinning in, in their ships You know, they're doing is they're also disrupting the natural frequency of the whales and the dolphins. Yes. It's, they're disrupting it because they bring such a healing frequency. So it's like almost like they're disconnecting it from us. Like it's so it's changing that as well. We get better connection with um the sea life. We're doing so much. We're trying to trying to stop. Stop us, uh, Amy. But Okay, so these whales, this is why they're disrupting it, because the whales have the, nat the, the innate natural frequency of the planet within them as well. So I'm just connecting to like this whole network of whales at the moment across the planet. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to anchor them in somewhere just to make sure that we're to all the, the portals. That's what we'll do. If anyone's seeing the move now, just connect to see if it's a little bit different. Ah. There we go. I just connected the whale frequency to the pyramid network. That's now it won't stop us for having the the res the the, the proper earth resonance. I can't believe they're trying to block the frequencies in the whale. Incredible. Okay. Nothing surprising here. Really. Now there we go. Okay. Now I'm just, I'm just hanging out in the um, sky gods right now, and. Uh, I was uh, out my team, me and the team, we were inside the rebels. It was a very funny one. Yeah, it was that one. But yeah, it's like a portal as well. Yeah. It's just so messed up that they would try to change the frequency of animals. <sighs> Okay, so I'm just going to do a human. I'm just going to call on the Syrian Council of Light, who initially brought the dolphins and whales over to connect to the uh, genetic templates of the highest love of these beautiful beings and download them. Now that we're connected to them all, just download them and send them help healing their DNA, activate them, because they've been affected over time from all of this frequency disruptions and stuff. Um, so we're going to restore their natural frequency as well. And so that's going to help. It's all related. It helps them. It helps the planet. It helps the sea. It helps us. It helps the frequency of the planet.
So there's a really high frequency coming in. It's just the the dolphin and Syrian dolphin and whale templates coming in. But it's also going to improve the waters within our cells because we're water, they're living in water, the frequency of the water goes up. So it's all connected. Mm. It's this energy from the moon, more truth should start coming out. What were you saying with the moon? You change the frequencies change. Ah, oh. it's, it's original. There's a, a moon base on there. Oh, yeah, we were on the moon base, Titan alien beings as usual. And uh, yeah, people will stop lying as much. Truths will be told. Yeah, but it's the year 2024. It's the most important year in humanity. So that's good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, this is all good. It's good to know these things. I'm like, you know, we've seen ships try to escape into the waters as we're doing missions. Like we've cleared out draconian bases and all these different things. But, uh, you know, there's always these missions, right? And it's always like, you got to do this mission and that mission and this mission and that mission. And then, I guess it's just taken all these years to finally find out that they've been messing with the Earth's frequency and then and they're distorting the frequency of the whales and the dolphins in the sea purposely to stop us from ascending. Desperation. Yeah. Desperate. But it's it's okay now. Now we, now it's like we now that we caught on to that, we just linked the whales and the dolphins to the pyramid network. And then we brought in the Syrian templates to reheal, to re-get them back into their normal frequency, which then shifts the frequency of the waters. Then they can't be manipulated, and it connects to the rest of the grids and the planet and us. So, so, think about all them animals that died in the last five, years, you know, last three years of unknown stuff. It's frequency. frequency. Yeah. Well, they're they literally trying to mess the change the frequency of these animals. It's just. I'm not surprised either. It's a little upsetting, but um, uh, we definitely had a really positive impact on this mission for sure. Yeah. I'm happy. I won't, I won't mention weather manipulation. <laughs> stop the weather manipulation. <laughs> Just stop the moon's rotation? Weather ma manipulation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So it's like, for for those who are watching or wondering, are these guys for real? Are they claiming they do this, claiming they do that? Um, how it works with consciousness is the light bands with the light. And so when you're doing missions of the light, um, it invites the other realms of light to come and assist you. So it's not like just me and Phil and everybody watching here who's doing it. We have the sky gods, we have the, the earth alliance, the extraterrestrial, they have ships, but they can't just do things without at least some human representation because there has to be a level of humans that say, yes, we want to do this and connect to this. So basically, we're just becoming aware and we're bringing our, our intentions. A lot of the work behind the scenes gets done by the Earth Alliance, the Sky Gods, and those beings who just have more. Yeah, but we, uh, yeah we've got our own team, uh, our own team in the uh, astral. We're, we're not just yeah. one. Yeah. We're, we're, we're one of many. Yeah. Hmm. And because we've done all these missions over and over again, we build these alliances with, with all of these ships and these different fleets. And these different entities that are that are real like they're real entities of light and so so they help out <clears throat> one of the coolest ones um i remember it was only like two missions ago and there was this huge technology inside like a u.s base in nevada that they're using to try to change the frequency of the planet and everybody was getting hit by it and they were feeling it too and and uh, so I call out Phil, I'm like, look, we got to take this thing down. I'm not sure what it is or where it is. And he's like, yeah, yeah, let's jump on a mission. And then 10 minutes before a mission, this, whole, this orange searing ship breaks through a dimension into my house. And I'm looking at it with my own two eyes and it's through 
and I quickly tune in and I see these Syrians and they're like, we're going to come with you on your mission. Uh, just tune into us when you get started and and then they fly off through the dimension. But it was like the size of a soft football, like an orange ship, illumination, light ship. Amazing, beautiful. Mm -hmm. One of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. And um, it, One thing yeah. that people don't realize, this might take an hour, but it might have took us a week. To do all yeah. that, but time's irrelevant, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and actual time and stuff, and and all of the time that we spend in sleep preparing for all of this as well. There's all that time as well. Mm. Like, um, because in the end, it's like it has to be tactful, right? So, like, yeah, we come in here, we don't know what we're going to be doing, but yet we just knew we were going to meet today. It just happens to be a full moon fate we didn't plan it um and uh but these things we probably did plan in the astral way before we're meeting we probably spent all of our time when we're sleeping and figuring out okay so these are the ships in the water this is the base on the moon you're going to go here i'm going to do this and we're going to do collaboration and then they're like the light beings are like okay well we're going to do this the sky gods are like okay we're going to be doing this the mother of um and then, and then Christ is like, okay, but then we're going to be healing the people who have been affected in these timelines. Oh, and then the other people are like, and then you're also going to be healing all of these big warmongers to heal those hearts to re release all the karmic of the biggest wars that have ever existed, you know, pre-China dynasty times. And like all of these different things that they put on our plate to accomplish this in this, in this one hour, like it was quite a lot of stuff we were working on. You know, I've just been told that we forgot something, but they're doing it anyway. Clearing the sky, the dragons are clearing the sky, and we didn't even do that. Uh, yeah. So they're clearing whatever's in the sky. They're clearing that with their dragons off. Yeah. I was calling in the dragons to help with something, um, just because I couldn't focus on everything. I can't remember what it was. It's some kind of clearing. Oh, I think it was to do with those... ET ships in the ocean. I'm not exactly sure. Mm -hmm. But you probably called them and they, they're just doing extra work now while they Yeah. <laughs> well yeah, it's always good to call on the dragons because like, Yeah. I like... I've been uh I wasn't sure if I was worthy and I went to the uh magic planet, you know, to check if you're worthy and they was all different beings. And they gave me a dragon called and it's I named it I had to name it aqua and it's like a rainbow dragon but all the colors have got like a cream to it you know like a milkshake that's good yeah. i'm worthy cool. then i'm worthy <laughs> they yeah. told me i am <laughs> it's so funny people think they're not worthy because it's like like look what you do right look look at look how many you're doing these healing events all the time you're doing these all over all these years how many missions we've done like if you're not worthy this planet it doesn't stand a chance you know, just like, <laughs> it's just me at the time it's me at the time i've been attacked a lot so yeah, yeah. there's What's so many people is... who like so many people feel that like am i worthy and you know part of um part of the issue is like lifetimes where we didn't serve the light or lifetimes where like we curse the light and like it, god can't be real because this happened when i'm never gonna support this there's no justice i hate this and they damn the light in their life and the so they hold on to this inside of themselves and as you're working through your ascension process you may have this resistance of feeling unworthy in the light because of this. and But basically, in the end, you just have to forgive yourself for these lifetimes when you damned and cursed the light, when you didn't serve the light and just send in healing to your heart into those lifetimes and let it go. Because I, um, it was just, it's time to let go of all that. Everybody's worthy in the light. I, I was going to say, I was going to mention this to you. I went to, a, I've been to loads of sound healing lately, and one of them was the root chakra query. And all of a sudden, I couldn't breathe. I had tears coming out. I had pain. And whatever I cleared was massive. Absolutely. So, you know, at the end of the day, we all need clearing sometimes. 
you know, it's something deep down in our oh, over cell. I mean, yeah, it came you out. Just get better I thought at I was it. going to die. I thought I was going, I couldn't breathe. Yeah, never had that before. So you. I blew out my root chakra once. I mean, I was, my root chakra hurt for like four days. Mm. When I, when I, first time I went and I started clearing about a thousand lifetimes of either when I was the victim or the perpetrator of mental, physical, emotional, or sexual abuse in relationships, whether I was the one doing it or I was the one who was receiving it. And I went through it like a thousand lifetimes of clearing it. And then I opened up my eyes when I was done. <clears throat> and this big black cloud was by my root chakra. And these angels are coming and swooshing and grabbing it. And I'm like, oh my God, that just left me. But <laughs> it's just like, oh, thank God that just left me. And then, uh, but then like just the way that I felt about relationships changed, the, like everything changed. I changed. And it was just like, it, but I released too much in one shot. Yeah, I, I once. When I met my twin flame, I, I actually said, you got to watch what you say. I wanted to release every trauma from every life. That was a mistake. <laughs> we have too many lives. <laughs> yeah. Too much trauma in there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it took me like probably about four days for my root chakra to heal after that. Like it's a, you can actually blow out a chakra. It's a real thing. <laughs> it's no joke. It's no joke. Yeah, I ended up stopping after about a week and a half. As I've known, this trauma released in a week and a half, and it was, it was driving me insane. I think I was losing it a bit. And that's because I said every, tra every trauma and every life, a lot of lives. Yeah, it's got to take it in patches. Mm. And that's what I did too. So, like, I was, once I realized that, then I just started, like, okay, well, I'll just do like two or 300 lifetimes at a time. And then uh, working through that kind of trauma, that seemed to be my magic number. And I think I scaled back up. Eventually, I could do more. Mm. You do the worst ones first. Yeah. Well, that was a good mission, Mr. Phil. Mm -hmm. Get my car going there. It's only quarter to one. I'll pretend it's quarter to one in the afternoon. I'll be okay with it. Yeah. Pro program the brain. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it's still the afternoon. Um, yeah. So I guess all I got to say is like everybody who participated in it, thanks very much. Um, everybody should sign up for the Divine Rate. It's free. It's in the App Store. I mean, you'd be crazy not to because this abundance is going to start rolling. And it's our soul tribe. It's like our place where we can just be free and create and without, you know. And so um, Apple App Store, to play, just get it for free, download it. And everyone is, I, I ground yourself if, if you've been on this mission. Poke a tree or a walk from the next to the river. But I've got a new way of doing it. Shall I tell you? Anyway, yeah. you got a with intention, visualize a red ball going round. It's an energy ball in your head, vacuuming all the grounding energy that you need to ground, or any stress. You can just ground it, and it sends it to sort. Yeah, and a new one. Yeah. Well, I've been doing this higher self grounding where I just focus on higher self, and then come down and ground for everybody too who's watching. Mm. I call it the higher self grounding. Yeah. Grounding. Good. Uh, yeah, and uh, just a little promotion. Free healing on Saturday. Five minutes. Everyone who attends me and Devon Rick. Yeah. Get free. I don't know how cheap. <laughs> what time is your event at? Uh, I actually don't know. <laughs> just one sec. Let, let me look at the. Oh, the phone's gone. It's normally six o'clock, but it could be eight. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So it's around one my time. Yeah. I got this uh, Divine Ray podcast uh, Saturday, but it's at 11 a.m. 
um, so they can come learn about Divine Ray, go over to your healing event. Uh, okay, cool. All right, well, I'm going to log off for the Facebook. So thanks for everybody for watching. Send the open mic to all of you if you get something. Oh, sorry, I already stopped it. <laughs> all right. Send the open mic to you then, David. <laughs> thanks. <sighs> Oh, that was good. I didn't want to mention the moon because some people think it's plasma, some think it's a base. It's like a Star Wars base. Yeah. Yeah. So we just changed it. They'll probably change it back now. So. Yeah, they're going to have to change that when the shift happens. I, I was actually on a battle on the moon about a week or two ago. So obviously something important there. Ah, uh, okay. It's probably, you're probably just finishing up there then. Yeah. So what was going on there? I think they send us a frequency that... Uh, I'm just going to tell... Mm. To keep uh, Earth in 3D, they can actually change it as well. Mm. Yeah. And they can act... I didn't know that. <laughs> it can be a... Weather manipulation. I didn't think of that. Choked. <laughs> so there you go. I didn't know. I didn't know the moon could. It does the tides, doesn't it? So I suppose, yeah, you, you could use it as a weather manipulation if you do the right frequency. That would be nice on the video. But I didn't know about it at the time. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's a good point. point. How, many, um, how many subscribers you get? You have to let me know if it's better or this way or if it's better the other way. It's gone down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's see. Let's see if I can see how many you got. What was it before we started? Five seven five. seven. Was it five seven six? It's still five seven seven. Yeah. Oh. I'll have to see. How many do you uh, usually? How many do you usually get when we do an event? Uh, the last one about three or four. It was one. It was about twenty or thirty, and it was the advert for one of your events. So I went quite well. Yeah, uh, Ernestine has got eighty thousand followers. Do you think she's like paying for it or something? Like, or how do you think? Like, I don't know. I'll ask it tomorrow. Yeah. About three, three or four years ago, she went in a good area. I mean, Deb did a special healing on her, and uh, she had a uh, she had a bad trauma. We saw it, and then all of a sudden, it's just gone miles better after that. Yeah. The thing is, on a, a advertisement, she never mentions what frequency. A lot of people know that four three two frequency, so you'd think she'd promote it and even mention why. I think there's a way you can promote and get more followers. I, I haven't searched it or something like that, but like, I just can't see how she's gotten 80,000 followers just out of nowhere. Mm. Like, I know she hit 50,000 like a couple months ago. It just seems like she's... Oh, she, she's part of Soul, Soulology. She do, she's on the Soulology network and they have a lot of people. I, I went on it with Deb, didn't I? And he wanted, he wanted us to do something on there. I'll have to tell Deb what happened to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, yeah, she's good. Yeah, I think she mentioned I'd, she'd love to do Deb and, uh, David. And I said, David would probably love to do it. Yeah, uh, soul, your soul tune. Yeah, it'd be interesting though, wouldn't it? Especially you with music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. It'd be cool. Mm. Yeah, when I when we were healing, I was given that uh, her aspects beta. You know? The one who's giving all the all the music is beta. Yeah. Isn't that good? <laughs> Not surprising. That's cool. Yeah, she's really done a lot to like get her music out there, just believe in it. And she, she's just so passionate about it. So it's exactly what she's supposed to be doing. So it's 
Yeah. It's awesome that she's doing it. Yeah. What did you have at the restaurant? Um, chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I've been eating a little bit of meat because, like, I stopped again for like a month and then I started doing my body started like shaking again. And so like, I think it's like, I have to have protein and like, and, you, and if you got to have, but is it B12 or something? It, there's a certain chemical that meat is the one that you should have. Yeah. Well, yeah B12, me. Um, so like, I know I'm okay with B12, but I think it's like look, my, the, the protein in my muscles just left over the years eventually come to nothing and so the, i think that's why my body was crashing last year to be honest with you and uh you know, so i started eating meat and i started getting strength back and everything and then um, i'm almost at 100 percent. but then i stopped eating meat for like another month and a bit and then i started feeling like like it was coming back and i'm like oh god i'm like okay i'll just go back and i'll eat meat again and yeah. but it, what i gotta do is i gotta like maybe take like a protein supplement before and, and just have my shit that, together that, yeah that's what i've said that uh we're destined, we're, we're made to eat meat, or you need it. It's not many can have it without supplements. I, I remember some, some spiritual said, how can you state you're spiritual when you eat meat? And I said, have I said, told you this one? No. I said, to get to your vibration, I've got to ground myself by eating meat. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> so I, don't have, uh, I don't have beef much now. And stop baking or cooking. Yeah, today I don't think I've eaten anything. Uh, no, I haven't eaten anything today. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot to eat. <laughs> You're just like going into the high realms, pulling out DNA. Crazy. I haven't, I haven't actually eaten anything. I'd love to eat something, but there's nothing open because they're all shut because of COVID. Uh, I haven't even got a bar of chocolate. Are you guys on like a lockdown right now? No, I'm talking about when COVID came in, all the supermarkets shut earlier. Oh, where I see. Before it used to be 24 7. You can't yeah. get out to the shops, so they're all shut. No, no, we're not. We're, we're not having that bullshit. Yeah. The, the, I, I was saying to someone today, the funniest. There's a rough area where me, me daughter lives, Lewinshaw, and he actually lives there. And I said, uh, I said to him, April 2020, I was picking my son up at my daughter's and they were having a street party. Street party. Worst lockdown, they were having a street, 80 people outside on the street party. So I said to my son, we're just going home so I can get some alcohol and I'm coming back. <laughs> it yeah. finished at 3 a.m. The police, you could see the police at the top of the road just doing a U-turn. They just do want to know. <laughs> yeah. So they, yeah, this street just completely ignored lockdown. It just had a street car. Until <laughs> fabulous. Till 3 a.m. Yeah. It's not bad, is it? Yeah. Ah, it's good to get out. It's good to have that. I mean, it, it was it was just, it was too much. It was way too much. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Canada was worse, wasn't it? And Australia was even worse. Yeah. Yeah, they was getting a lot of demonstrations. It was they had to let go because it it nearly became a revolution in the end. You you got millions walking in London. You didn't see that on the internet at all. But it was I think two million marches. So they could have took over the country if they really wanted to. And all the politicians. Is that love and light? Oh, it's slubbish. <laughs> well, it definitely was today when we were just like healing their hearts. So that was that was an interesting thing. Yeah, that was different. I wasn't expecting well, that. At the uh, sound healing tonight, we were doing uh, art breathing, except breathe breathing for the art chakra. Oh, yeah. It went too quick though. Yeah, no, great. There was some great energy that we were making tonight. Like it was a great, very, very strong, very pure, loving, and just healing. It was, it was great to feel it. Very powerful and everywhere and everything we were doing. It was just, it was massive. It was actually quite a big cleanse and healing. 
And I'm still recording it. There you go. I've got another video. I've got three videos in this one. <laughs> hey. Personal information at the end here. <laughs> Was there any personal information in that? Oh, we talked about meat, weren't we? Ooh. It's a bit iffy. Might, I might lose a subscriber. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's a meat eater. He's, he's from the dark side. Oh, 577. <laughs> Alright, bro. Well, I'm just going to take my dog out, go to the bathroom, and. Um, How is your dog? He's trained him now. Pretty good. I mean, I can't. I have to, like, have these rules, right? Like, so, like, she's got to go to the bathroom when I, like, take a poo in the morning. And if she doesn't, I got to keep her out of just free roam, like, just lock her in the kitchen or whatever. And you trained her to go to your bathroom. That's not bad going, though. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, you know, I, 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 like, she's just good when she goes outside and stuff. And, but, uh, and then, she has all the free room she wants or whatever, but um, every once in a while, she just doesn't go to the bathroom when, when I take her out. And then like, so I can't just let her, otherwise she'll go to the bathroom on the couch if I just let her have free room. And so I've, I've actually had to throw out my couch and have a new couch and of my bed, my mattress and get a new mattress because she just doesn't care. She doesn't care. That's the problem, right? and so she's she will go outside and she won't go in there. But she, what what happens is if if she doesn't go outside, and then I come downstairs to do healing or this or that, and I just let her walk around anywhere, then she the rules go out the window, mm -hmm. and she'll pee on the couch or poop on the well, floor. I remember my wife when we first had our dog. He's now fifteen, so he's supposed to die two years ago. It's it's three, but obviously. I don't want to buy another dog. I'll keep him. Yeah, I'll keep on eating him. And uh, my wife came home first week we had him, and she said, "What's on his nose?" And I said, "His accident." Yeah. <laughs> Never had one again. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> but I'm a bit ruthless, though. Yeah. I know. I couldn't. She just doesn't have the same like wits, like I guess, as your dog or something. Because I tried that didn't work and so the only thing that works is just that she does go to the bathroom and then so so i take her out at least like four to five times a day basically and she's a female isn't she yeah yeah that's, that's why i'm joking i'm joking i can't I'm pull this out you know uh -huh. you lost two five subscribers <laughs> <laughs> all right take care david thanks for that all right bro all right it's time but Good job.